but I still wasn't free. Hey. Hey, welcome to the Eric J and Richard Miller uh, podcast. We're coming to you live on all streaming platforms. Is that is that you, Des? This is Dale. Dale. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought I thought my I thought my friend was gonna hop on first. But hey, uh, um, so what you um, so basically. So what is what's your whole opinion on uh, this whole coronavirus thing? Like, what you think is going to be the end result when the country is going to open back up? When they can market it enough to uh, be able to um, to charge people uh, the right amount of money, you know, because people are going to want their life back. So guess what? You're going to have to pay for it, <laughs> basically. All this. Um, giving stuff and doing things for for like the community and stuff this ain't gonna last long guarantee once they come out with a solid uh fix and they test it out guarantee the price is gonna be just right where they want it at so uh what what do you think is a deadline for all the states opening up oh no i don't believe in no deadline that's one thing i don't like, I don't believe there's going to be a definite deadline for it because they're going to have to stall people out long enough to make the amount of, the amount of money they want to um, from hospitals and doctors and stuff, recommending it, sponsoring the drugs, this blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's going to take a minute. They're going to push it as far as they can so they can get the most amount of money they can get. That's just my take on it. And they shouldn't do that to people because we are human, so... So yeah, I've seen a couple a uh, couple states opening up, like Atlanta opened up some of the uh, nails and bar shops today. Yeah, well, my thing is, is they're gonna learn. And, you know what? What they're gonna learn is, is that this this is a real threat. Like it's a real, real issue, and they're gonna get sick. They're gonna die. And when they start losing people that's really close to somebody important that they deem important. They're gonna they're gonna be like, oh crap, we can't play this game. And they're gonna shut back down. I was thinking at first that uh that this is gonna last to at least the summertime just for the simple fact that uh, that you at least had to get a couple months for them to get a a hold on to the situation as far as uh coming up with like a a good plan as far as like how people like regular people can operate and still live a normal life, but still be aware at the same time. Yeah. Cause I was, cause I, all the reports that I was reading, I was, I was like, I can't see the U S men, um, locked down for six months to a year. I was like, I don't, I don't think we'll be able to sustain that. In actuality, I think I think we can. I think we can be able to sustain it because you got to look at, um, like, what is it that you don't think we can sustain? Uh, like, like um, um, fast food industry, restaurants. That's the only thing that I can see that that's gonna be crippling, um, right off the top top of my head. And the reason why I say that is because um, they're not gonna let it get to that point. Is what I was trying to tell you in the beginning, like. They're going to want to make the amount of money they need to make, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, they have an agenda. And what I mean by they, it's corporate America, the corporate world. Um, They're not going to let those restaurants go out. Even if they did, it's going to be mainly your mom and pa restaurants and some chain restaurants is going to go out. But in the same token, that that puts the power back in the people's hand to cook at home and to make healthy meals for themselves, you know what I'm saying? Take take matters into their own hand and, and do for themselves. So yeah. Yeah, I was saying as far as uh the financial, because I didn't think they they would want to keep pushing out those stimulus checks. Uh yeah, I don't know how I feel about them stimulus checks. 
<laughs> because they pushed that 1200 then they pushing up another plan that's, that's uh, going to pay people 2000 a month until this is over with. Yeah, I saw that too. But then think about this. If they do that, then guess what? Taxes are going to go sky high. Guaranteed. I mean, they probably won't charge us for the taxes, quote unquote, but it will be calculated into your, your uh, taxes plan. Like, oh, you got a stimulus uh, booster as well as any other businesses that's getting the stimulus boosters too. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. So, uh, what do you think about uh, the safety or do you think that wearing a mask is really really like the right answer or what do you think is like it could, is the right precaution it's like people go outside and do essential stuff well I'm not a doctor you know what I'm saying I'm definitely not a medic um, but wearing a mask yes and no on that um, the reason why I say yes and no one it's a respiratory infection um, um, virus and no, because if people don't clean their masks and keep stuff sterile and switch out and change clothes, keep showering, washing their hands, you know, making sure that they're doing their their human duties to be uh, maintain cleanliness, then it ain't going to help because it's going to get worse. But as long as we, we keep those basic things going, then, yeah, I think it'll help. I think all of it will help in the end. Yeah. Hey, this uh, what's up, Arantis? What up, though? Hey, we just uh, we talking about this coronavirus, man. What do you think uh, about all the uh, states possibly opening back up slowly? I think it's stupid. I don't think we're ready yet, man. Just me personally, but that's my opinion. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. When when you think when you think we'll be ready? I say I say mid summer. I'm gonna say by by June. At least give it to June just to make sure, especially if they already know that the numbers is supposed to go up. Like that's automatic red sign. Like that's flags right there. You know what I'm saying? Like why would you continue on and let things open up when you know it's predicting to get worse? Like that's just setting your people up for failure. I agree with him. I agree. Yeah, I think that uh, I think a lot of people is just looking. I mean, it sucks, but I think a lot of people just trying to look at any type of way for them to start making money again. And they prioritizing that over make over human beings. But, you know, I mean, it doesn't surprise me. I don't know, man. I just don't trust it. Like I said, everybody that's close to me, I'm letting them know. Like, man, y'all be careful. You feel me? Like, they setting it up for everybody to go back out. But like I just said, it makes no sense at all when you already predicting that the stuff is supposed to be worse and it's supposed to get worse in the next stretch. So you're going to continue. So you're going to go on with this opening up thing, like opening things back up. Like, I understand, like, businesses need to open back up. You know what I'm saying? Like, things like that. I understand and I get it. But... Is it worth getting more people sick and more people dying and losing their lives? Like you, like a dollar. I know a dollar means a lot to a lot of people these days. You know, and it's important. Like the world don't function without money. Like you feel me? But I just don't think it's that important, man. I don't. I really don't think it's that important. And businesses that can afford to be off need to stay off. And if they can pay their employees, you know, to to be off and to be safe, rather than risk opening back up and then infecting other people when they come to work you know what i'm saying and then then look what happened then what you gonna do then you gotta shut down for real and probably shut down for longer than what you would if you just go on and stay shut down and let this shit pass through but i'm just one brown person in this world with an opinion you know? <laughs> hey um hey uh mom yes What's your uh, opinion on the coronavirus as far as the safety and uh, and as far as all the states opening back up? I agree with the young man that just finished talking. Um, the scientists, even the task force has said that we're going to have another 
wave of it and it's going to be worse than this time and for people to put people's lives in jeopardy you know it's so many people have died already and if it's going to be worse I understand like you said people have to work and everything but people pay taxes that's what the government is for the government is to help the help the country they go and help and give millions and billions of dollars to other countries but when it comes to our country, they don't want to do anything. They're just like people come from other countries and go to school for free. I got student loans and I was born here. So, I mean, it really don't make any sense. They trying to send out money. I mean, but if you're making four or $5,000 a month, 1200 is really not, especially if you got a household of four. That's not a lot. That's basically grocery because everybody is at home full time. Yeah, so not, I really I think that they need to try to stay because the numbers they might be trickling in other places, but they are going up in other places as well. And this is not something that you can look at somebody and say, Oh, they got cancer, oh, they got this. You can't look at someone and tell if they got it or not. And then, if so many people they don't realize that are carriers so they won't have any symptoms so if you got a carrier in a place of 10 then that means all 10 of those people ha have gotten it they're going to take it home to their loved ones that loved one's going to take it to someone and there it go that's how it's spreading so, so uh i think that um that I was saying like uh, mid June or, or like like the heat of the summer, as far as like a good deadline, as far as like for them to like really evaluate and consider uh, opening up states. I agree with you. I agree with you. I mean, it should be taken um, like two months at a time and see and really look at the numbers and see if the numbers, the cases, but. Another thing I re really wish that it can do, they talk about it's not enough testing. We'll make the test. I think they should mandate that every state test everyone. Then we'll know where, they're, where the numbers are. We'll know who have it and who needs to be quarantined. But right now, it might be some cases out there. They might think they got a cold and not even know that they have corona because they haven't been tested or they don't have any tests in the area. Yeah, it's, uh, it's crazy because uh, everybody just looking at the, uh, the financial gain as far as getting the economy back up. Right, and, and then a lot of people still may not recover from this. I mean, I mean a lot of people have been closed for months. And it's some crazy people that's going to go out there because they happen to be at the house. But it's going to be a lot that's going to be afraid and they're not going to go out. So it's still going to be people that's not making money. So you opening, you're still not going to be making any money because people are not going to come out. And then a lot of people out of work. So who's going to come out and spend money? $1,200 gone. I ain't got my $1,200 yet. Where is it? Do y'all know where it at? Y'all got y'all. <laughs> no, I don't I don't have any. I'm get saying, where mine at? I got direct deposit. Get, that, uh, just push a button. There it go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I haven't got mine yet either. I don't even know what it looked like. I'm saying. Now they talking about a second wave of money. They have passed another bill that's supposed to be going out. Okay, I understand it's helping the um, businesses, but look at the other people. Also, these people need help as well. I mean, you're talking about opening up businesses. You ain't opening up the schools. A lot of these people are not helping these children with homework because a lot of them, like me, I've been out of school over 30 years. Almost 30 years. I can't do no fourth grade work. I haven't seen it in years. So if I had a child that was at home in the fourth grade, they're going to be messed up. If Google can't help me.
Yeah, I think uh, well, the U.S. Uh, education system has always been behind. Oh yeah, it's anyway. very slow. It's very slow. What do you uh? So do y'all think uh? Do y'all think that um? What do y'all think about what Trump said the other day about the uh? <laughs> About the the lights um, off, the disinfected. Yeah, that's a fool. <laughs> Anything come out his mouth is foolish. Yeah, I was then say, when I, the, I, don't, I don't trust nothing he say. Then when the reporter the next time try to call him on it, I didn't say that. I didn't say you just you lie all the time. You lie. They wouldn't have tried to call you on it if you hadn't said it. They look for you to lie so they can call you on it. <laughs> <laughs> And I just hope that fool, I hope they're not foolish enough to vote him back in there. You know, I've been reading a lot of posts on Facebook. People been talking about Biden, he too old, he got dementia. Well, this fool is deadly. He don't almost had us in a war. He don't know how to, he don't have any empathy or sympathy for people. We don't need someone in there that don't have a filter. You got to have some kind of filter. It's a lot of stuff I want to say to folks, but I don't. And when you the head and everybody looking at you, you can't say what you think all the time. Because you're going to get backlash on that. He's the only president Shout in the whole four years that I've known that's been in the, on the news every day. Every day he on the news. And I'm talking about before Corona. Trump be on Twitter like he got dog on. Ain't got no. Ain't ain't got a. Ain't got a world to run. He don't. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah it seems like they be coming in our office and be like, "Hey, Trump, we got these bills. Have you looked at them yet? Hey, you can sit them on my desk. I got these tweets to send out. Right. Right. He'll be on Twitter like he get paid to tweet. He's he kind of childish though. He's real childish. He real childish. I mean, when he ran, he ran his his campaign off of racism and the ones that voted for him was racist. But I see a lot of people now that saying they had voted for him and they hate that they did because of the way he's been acting. Then they embarrassed to say that they had voted for him. I really don't yeah, think that he's like handling real... this, this uh, pandemic good. He's not because he's not equipped to handle this. Everybody talking about, oh, he was he's a good businessman. If they would have and looked at his business, they weren't doing that well. They was being sued that school they had him and his children. A lot of his stuff wasn't doing well. No, never has been. He's always been in the hole. Right. Yeah, that's why the NFL didn't let him uh, become a owner. That's why he was booed out of one of the games, too. <laughs> it's sad. We just have yeah, to pray, think... honey. I'm for real. We have to pray. We already lived in the days, the end of days. It's already a wicked world. And, you know, we having tornadoes hitting. People are being homeless. Then you got corona. I mean, that's a lot to deal with. You don't lost your home from a tornado, and then you don't know who got corona. Then you can lose your life as well. So all I say is we just have to pray and pray to the, the Lord, because I don't think the Lord is happy with the world. There's so much wickedness going on. And he said he wouldn't destroy it by uh, water anymore or so you have to look at all of this. You know, they had uh, omens back in the day. You know, when he sent Moses to Egypt, you know, they had those little things that he did to show that he was for the Lord, you know. And you got to look at this stuff that's going on in the world. Because, I mean, I don't know. They said it came from China. I don't know where it came from, to tell you the truth. In my heart, I do believe that it's government made, but I don't know for a fact. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, I was thinking of the uh, population control factor. Huh. <laughs> well, that could be a factor too. Because if anybody's seen a movie on Netflix called uh, Contamination, this same thing that's going on is in that movie. It's out of Atlanta, and it was like made in 2015 or something like that. Go watch that movie. It's the same identical thing that's happening right now. Hey, hey, bro, I got a phone call. Hey, let me get, I got it. Let me get back on in a minute. Okay. All right. So we leaving? We stay on or what? Yeah, they, uh, Rich is about to get off and, uh, Dale's about to get off. Uh, thanks for you, uh, coming on. Hey, oh, no Eric, Eric, thank I, you for I inviting me to the invite, show. Son. Huh? Thanks for the invite, man. Huh? Y'all have a good night. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. y'all too. Right, too. Thanks again. Right. Mm-hmm. Hey, Bye. Hey.